Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Many historians consider Stephen Duncan to have been the richest cotton planter in the South before the American Civil War. Born in 1787 in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, Duncan received a medical de- degree from Dixon College, but in 1808 he moved to Natchez and embarked on a life as a banker and a cotton planter. By 1860, he owned over 1,000 slaves, making him the largest resident slave owner in Mississippi. His plantations yielded a vast fortune, which Duncan wisely invested in Northern Railroad securities and Midwestern public lands. Yet Duncan, along with a few other Natchez planters, planters, created the Mississippi Colonization Society, whose purpose was to send freedmen to Liberia on the African continent. In 1827, he purchased Auburn, the imposing classical revival home designed by architect Levi Weeks in 1812. Duncan left Natchez on the Union gunboat Forest Rose in September of 1863. He died on this date, January 29, 1867, in his townhouse at number 12 Washington Square in New York City. In 1911, Stephen Duncan's heirs donated Auburn to the city of Natchez. I'm Clark Pfizer, president of the Auburn Antebellum Home, and this is your Natchez History Minute.